There's okay. no reason for your mother to be living with you. And it should not be. Your only uh, job toward your mother is not to resent her. Have you forgiven her? Let me go quickly to uh, um, Mark, a first time call out of Miami, Florida. Mark, welcome to the show. You're on the air. There's a line open hey, at 888 Jesse. Hey, Mark. Good morning, Jesse. Good morning. Nice to hear from you, man. You too. Hey. I need some uh, some manly advice, man. All right. All right. So I'm 33 years old, and uh, I purchased an apartment, um, like, during COVID. And a year before COVID, my uh, my father had passed away. So my my mom was li- me and my mom were living uh, in our house with that we used to have with our father with my father that my sister and her husband that they kind of like took over the house they took over like the, the the payments of the house and everything so we all lived together but you know I thought it was my time to move out so um, so I lived by myself um, my sister and my mother had a fallout. And my mom left the house, and now she's actually suing my sister, but she's living with me. And I just want to know, like, am I beta for taking my mom in? Uh, you know, give me some suggestions. 100% beta. She got to move immediately. She got to move immediately. She's going to make you her husband. You're never going to be happy. All right. Absolutely. And if she's suing right. your sister, she'll sue you. That's what I was thinking, too. I actually thought about that yesterday. See? You're getting all the signs from within, but you're not paying attention to them and obeying them. But um, And is she able to work for herself and take care of herself? My mother? My mother's retired. So she's you able know, to and work she if gets- she wanted to work. I don't think so. She got she get she retirement work. money, right? My my point yeah. is, she doesn't have to live with you, and she doesn't want to get her own place or go back to where her sister, her daughter live. She can go to a retirement place. They have beautiful places for low income people like that, retired people. But yeah, you, but I don't know that the Hispanic in, in me, like we've always said that we have to take care of our parents. I don't know if that's just what Hispanics say or if that's something. You never said that on your own. Your mother convinced you of that while growing up and you think those are your own words and they're not. Okay. How are you going to have right. a life if you stuck with your mama? She's going to make you her husband. Yeah, you're right. She keeps suggesting to to leave that whenever whatever money that she's going to get out of my sister that she's she's willing to leave. Should I like encourage her to leave or? Yeah, I, I usually just tell her to like stay. <laughs> you got to regret that you invited her to stay. She should be encouraged to leave and leave as soon right now. There's okay. no reason for your mother to be living with you. And it should not be. Your only uh, job toward your mother is not to resent her. Have you forgiven her? Um, I think so, man. You, t- you should tell her that. I mean, what is there to forgive her? She was a pretty good mom to me my no, whole life. No, she wasn't. If she was a pretty good mother, she wouldn't be living with you. Hmm. Okay. What was good about her? When you say pretty good, what was pretty good about her? I mean, she was always there when I needed, you know, love, when I needed a hug. She always used to cook for me. She kept the house clean. She showed me what a what a good wife is to my <laughs> father. And so what was good about her? What was good about her? Um, that she would help my father at, at work. They would work together. Uh, she was always helping him. That was something good, I guess. And so what would you say your mother was pretty good? What was pretty good about her? I don't know. She never she never disrespected me. She was she was a good cook. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> so you're telling uh, me all the things that she did and she was supposed to do those things. She was your parent. It was it was her job to feed you, house you. Because she had you. That wasn't your job. It was her job. 
but you still didn't tell me anything that was good about her. You told me what she did, but you didn't tell me what's good about her. But, uh, you know, like, like you're saying, like the Bible says, no man is good. So what was good about your mother? I don't, I don't know, though. Like, what are we saying? What are we thinking that's a good thing? Can you give me, like, an example of what is something good that somebody does? But you the one said that, you the one said that your mother was a pretty good mother, and I asked you what was good about it. Oh, you told me what she did, but you didn't tell me one thing that was good about her. I mean, she didn't lie. She didn't steal. Um, she made you think that what? you're responsible for her as an adult. And that's a truth or a lie? I, I guess she made me think that, but I, I also think like my family made me think that. Like, of course, I always thought, like, but it always comes you know? from the mothers in the families. It's not the fathers that's making you think you got to take care of them. It's the mothers that make you think that, and they brainwash you so that they can use you for their own personal gain. Right, right. And she's also trying to turn me against my sister, which is something I really don't like and appreciate because I love my sister. And that's evil. I thought you said there was something good about her. So far, you just named evil stuff about her, but nothing good. No, you're right, Jesse. You're right. You're making me realize these things, man. And if she's trying to turn you away from your sister, she's going to do the same thing to you when you tell her she got to move. She's going to turn on you. And right. she's going to go and build an army against you. She's going to tell the family member how horrible you are. You told her she got to move. And she cooked for you. And she fed you. And she gave you hugs. And she gave you kisses when you were growing up. None of that, those things were love at all. But if she's doing That's this she's to your sister, sister. What? That's what she's doing to my sister. She's, she turned my whole family against my sister. And she's going to do it to you if you ever muster up the nerve to tell her she got to go. Your mother is evil. Right. That's why, right. Your, that's why your father couldn't handle her, because she was evil, and he was married to his mother. He never understood my, how, to, how to deal with his own mother, and you become attracted to the the when you be uh, angry at your mother, you become a, uh, attracted to what you hate. And every woman you get involved with will be the spirit of your mother. And you'll become the boy, wow. and she'll become the mama. But you got to, and what do you say to your mother when she tried to turn you away against your sister? I explain to her what I know about the situation and how I don't take sides, how I'm not taking any sides, and how I still love my sister and that I respect my sister and that I would appreciate it if she, like, would not try to make me turn against her. Nice. And that and I that think it's very wrong and ugly. And let that her know she's making she, me try to hate my sister. And let her know she's evil for doing that. And that and, and the fact that she can do that to your sister, she'll do it to you. She's the only reason she hasn't done it to you yet because you won't stand up to her. Yeah. Don't be yeah, a, you're probably right. You're absolutely right. Don't be a mama's boy. Don't be a beta. Don't be a beta. <laughs> Um, um, have yeah, have you forgiven you. her for what she's done to you? I guess not. And I why not? How will you overcome her if you don't forgive her for recreating you and her image and turning you away from your father? If you don't forgive uh, her, how will God forgive you and take her spirit away from you? I guess I haven't realized I have to forgive her. Oh. Mm -hmm. uh, are you, you, you say your, your father expired? Yeah, my father, he did. <laughs> um, <laughs> no, yeah, he, um, he expired. And I remember my father being kind of, he wasn't abusive to my mother, but he was very like strong, very um, uh, like he would put her in her place, I guess you could say, but like in a respectful way, he would never hit her or anything like that. Right. But he would, <laughs> Yeah, and like we used, we told him one time, like, hey, you know, we came as a family together and told him like we like he should stop that, you know, and that wasn't nice. But I think he had like knowing now the things that are happening now, I realized that my father had a point in what he was doing. He did. And he had to be like that. 
she was evil, and he was trying to deal with the evil in her and didn't know how, and your mother pretended to be a victim so that you guys can think she was a victim and identify with her, and she turned you away from your father, and now you have her image. You've been yeah. set up. Um, oh, man, what a mess. <laughs> <laughs> And the only way you're going to overcome it, you must, once you see it for yourself, you got to go and forgive her. Hey, mother, I'm sorry for resenting you, turning me away from my father. You pretend to be the victim. And uh, I realize now you can't help yourself because your mother hates her mother. What she's done to you and your sister, her mother did it to her. And it goes on from generation to generation until somebody say, I'm sorry. And God changed that person's heart. And then the next generation has a chance. It would be of love right. and not of hate. But you got to face your mother and forgive her for what she's done to you. All right. You're absolutely right. I appreciate you, Jesse, man. Thank you so much for the conversation. You're welcome. Are you familiar with the silent, my silent prayer? With the silent prayer? Yeah. Not really. Go I mean, to, I, I know about praying privately in the closet and, like, talking to God there. Like, yeah. Go to re, go to rebuildingaman.com slash prayer. Re, mm-hmm. <clears throat> rebuildingaman.com slash prayer. And I want I recommend you start doing that so, so you can wake up. You can see, and God will guide you. You still can do your little hoover to holler in the, in the prayer closet, whatever. But once you're done hooping and hollering, be still and know God. Absolutely. Find right. him first, right? Huh? Seek him first. Yes, absolutely. Seek what's right first, and everything will be fine. It'll be amazing for you. I appreciate it, Jesse. Thank you so much. I wish you well. Thank you. You too. All right, buddy. I hope to call you again. Okay. Bye. I- absolutely. <laughs> 